Right. Bit of rec uh, bit of planting today, isn't it, Jack? Yeah. You gonna tell everyone what we got? What are these ones here? Sunflowers. What uh what's the uh, what's this one? Um, what, uh, these ones that you planted? Bullabies. And what about these ones? Pumpkins. And pumpkins, eh? So we've got a few plants to plant out. But then if we go over here to the border, come on. We've got the gladiolas coming through, haven't we? Yeah. So in the little gaps. Yeah. We've and then we've got some geraniums and begonias, I think they are. And that's what we're going to put in our borders today, aren't we? Yeah. So, you're going to dig a little, where should we start? Tell you what, I'll, to start with, get the pots and put them where you're going to plant them. Okay. So start at the top. Start up there, where you're going to plant that one. Next to Grandad's gnomes. Yeah. Right, so leave that one there, then come and get a different one. We'll put this one in next, where are you going to put that one? Maybe put it here, look. That gap there, yeah, that'll do. And then we'll go for one of these. In the big gap, look. Yeah, then we'll put one of these in the next big gap. And then one of these. Go a bit further down, son. Then we'll put one of these. Then we get one of these. Yeah. And one of these. And we'll carry on like that and then we'll know where to dig the holes, won't we? So we'll just dig the holes, ready to put them in, and then we'll be back what we son. Yeah. Right, we've got well Jack's dug his holes, aren't you Jack? Yeah. So what we're we doing now? Uh putting some soil in the bottom. Right, go on then. Put a little bit of compost in the bottom, help the roots come out. Go on then, next. So just put a bit of compost in the bottom, it'll just help the roots take root a bit easier. And all the nice stuff in there, won't it, son? Is that enough, yeah? Right, come on then, next one's good lad. And we'll do that in all the holes down there. Right, so now, taking the plants out, we've done a couple, well, we haven't done them yet, we just put them in the holes. What, how do you get them out, Jack? Squeeze it. You squeeze it. Put your hand underneath. Go on then. Give it a little pull. Rub it by its stem and pull it a little bit. There we go. And then we pop it in all, oh, don't we? So we'll do that all the way down there. Right, so we've done that now. So now what's the next step? Uh, putting the soil back. Yeah, back around the plant. And then what do we do after we put all the soil back around it? Yeah. Push it down nice and tight, yeah. So that's that one done. Should we do another couple on them? And we tried that, I don't know if anyone's heard of it, Co uh, slugs don't like copper wire, or any copper. So we stapled this, it's been here for a good 3-4 years now, stapled copper wire around it, all the way around. So when slugs come up, they don't like it, so it's a deterrent for them. Because what have slugs done to your sunflower? Uh, bite, bite a bit. They're ready, aren't you? Right, come on then, next. Can we give it a good squish in, yeah? So oh, there's Jack's top tips, isn't it, Jack? Jack. <laughs> so there's Jack's top tips. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Last step to do, didn't we? Yeah. What's the last step? Water. So we're going to have to fill our watering can up and water them now, aren't we, son? Right, come on then, get it filled up. I think he's done a pretty good job. Good lad.